Hey everybody, what's going on? So before I begin in this video, if you're new to what I am talking about, please go to the video description right now and check out the links, How to Gematria. If you don't do that, you're not going to understand a single thing that I am talking about. But what Gematria is, is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And it stems back to what is Jewish mysticism, which is Kabbalah. And the belief of Kabbalah is that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. And all of the videos that I've been making recently, I've been talking about how there are these connections in my own life and how they sync up to the mainstream media stories and how they sync up to the sporting events. The whole world that we live in is truly just a script. And there are people in power who understand this knowledge and they use it to rule over us. And a good example of what I think is truly going on or something you know similar is the TV show called Touch with Kiefer Sutherland. If you check out that TV show, they talk about, it's, it's basically about this kid who can understand the world by numbers. And God uses numbers to show signs and symbols and whatever else. And he's one of the few people who can see how everything is interrelated. And he talks about how, you know, he, he's trying to go around and make things touch at certain points and certain times because it will affect the outcome of the rest of the world. And what I think these people in power are doing is they understand this knowledge that, you know, the average person like me and you, or you and me, doesn't fully understand. And they make things touch at certain times out of the natural order, or, you know, whatever. They're manipulating something to do with how all of this works. But we truly live in some type of scripted world, and there are people who understand this, and they're using it to rule over us. And in this video, what I want to talk about is just share an experience that I had just yesterday and it just blows me away because it connects back to last year how I was talking about the death of my uncle just before the Super Bowl and a bunch of stuff was showing me the Atlanta Falcons to be in the Super Bowl and then now this year it's connected to the Eagles and another one of my uncles just recently had to go to the hospital because his lung collapsed so I'll explain that more as we go along here but my sister came over yesterday and because she wanted to see our new baby, Zamian. And while she was here, she mentioned how the town that she lives in is going to be on a commercial in the Super Bowl this year. And it's a town of like 2,000 people, a small town in Iowa, Audubon, Iowa. And what's going to be in the Super Bowl is the statue of a bull named Albert the Bull. And... You know, I decided to look into it because I guarantee there is a reason that they chose this bull to be in a Super Bowl commercial. And, and right away, I noticed why they chose this bull to be in the Super Bowl. And interesting, too, just this is the world's largest bull statue, I believe, in at least Iowa. Poss probably the whole United States is the world's largest bull. Think about the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Kind of a play on words, possibly nothing, but something to think about. But the bull's name is Albert. Albert in Gematria equals 41. In the reverse reduced method, the word Super Bowl also equals 41 in Gematria. So fitting for Albert the bull to be in a Super Bowl commercial. And the town that it's in just so happens to be located on 41 degrees north, right? So even the area is fitting to Super Bowl. If you watch the video link of all of the news articles and whatnot, or this YouTube video, the story of Albert the Bull, a big deal that they talk about in that is that they painted his eyes blue. But then a bunch of the farmers or whatever said that doesn't make sense because bulls don't have blue eyes. Well, blue eyes in Gematria also equals 41. And the high school mascot in that town, Audubon, is the Audubon Wheelers. Wheelers also equals 41 in Gematria. So 
you know, it's fitting for this statue to be connected to the Super Bowl. Also, if you write out Albert the Bull in Gematria, it equals 78. Just like if you write out Audubon, where it's, where it's located. Audubon equals 78. Albert the Bull equals 78. And it, it even goes on to mention a bunch of stuff, and I don't have time. I have to work tomorrow morning, and tonight I'm going to go up and hang out with her son, my nephew, and play board games and stuff. I told him I'd hang out with him I'm up at my mom and dad's. But I, had, I didn't have time to look into these movies, but I guess it's also in the movie Beethoven's Third. You know, and it was also an answer on Jeopardy. Also, something to do with the West Wing and the Twilight series. But interesting because Jeopardy equals 41, just like Super Bowl. And Beethoven's third also equals 78, just like Albert the Bull, you know. Also, the town, it's a bull. And if you understand more of what I'm talking about, Saturn is most likely the god of the Old Testament. Saturn is also El, which is the bull god, right? And this is a giant bull statue. In Jewish Gematria, Saturn equals 511. And if you write out Audubon, Iowa, in Satanic Gematria, it equals 511. So, you know, how interesting that it's connected to that, you know? Connected to Saturn, and it's a giant bull. That's what the whole town is known for. Also, bulls are really important, you know? Let's look at some of the Gematria here. So... In Jewish Gematria, the word God, the word God equals 61 in Jewish Gematria. But in other forms of Gematria, Jesus equals 61, you know. The word cross equals 61. Holy Spirit equals 61 in Gematria, you know. Church equals 61 in Gematria. Christian equals 61 in Gematria. The word bull equals 61 in Gematria. Saturn is the bull god, the keeper of time. Time equals 61 in Gematria. And like Zenith of the Alpha always points out, you know, Jesus died on the cross, right? In multiplication, X is times. He died in split time, you know, the BC and AD and everything else. All kinds of stuff in regards to time. Everything goes back to this, you know. That's why the Bible mentions a whole lot about the number 144. Because in Jewish Gematria, the word time equals 144. And there's 144,000 minutes in a day, or 1,440 minutes in one day. But this year, in regards to 61, we also have Philadelphia that comes from the book of Revelation playing in the Super Bowl in Minneapolis. And Philadelphia equals 61 in Gematria. And also, the word just commercial equals 61 in Gematria. So, I'm wondering if there's going to be something significant with this commercial that affects the outcome of the game, you know? This commercial supposedly comes in the third quarter of the game. I wonder if they have it set up to where when this after this commercial's over, there'll be some event in the game. Maybe You know, not even like a terrorist attack, just maybe there'll be some amazing touchdown pass or something of the sort. Or possibly it's just connected to some other commercial. A commercial is really important to this year in the Super Bowl because if you write out Super Bowl commercial, it equals 88 and also 223. 88 is this humongous number that I've been talking about on the Super Bowl this year. U.S. Bank Stadium, where the Super Bowl's held, that equals 88 in Gematria. And the big theme this year is all about the flag and not standing during the national anthem. That's also why we got the death of Charles Manson, because Charles Manson believed in the helter-skelter theory based on the book of Revelation, right, about the blacks rising up because of the Beatles song Blackbird. And Paul McCartney was the guy who played the halftime show the last time the Eagles and the Patriots played each other in the Super Bowl. And Paul McCartney wrote the song Blackbird. Tons of stuff with it, but... Super Bowl commercial equals 88, U.S. Bank Stadium equals 88, Neil equals 88, Colin Kaepernick equals 88, The Star Spangled Banner equals 88, Trump equals 88. I talked a lot about how it's connected to the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash as well, right? This year it was the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash when Herbert Hoover, the only president from Iowa, was the president. Herbert Hoover, H.H. 
H is the eighth letter, a lot like 88. And he's the guy who signed into Congress that the national anthem is the Star Spangled Banner or whatever. He signed that into Congress to make it the official national anthem. And they have a bunch of connections together too. Herbert Hoover equals the same as Donald Trump and Gematria. They both equal 159, just like Francis Key, the guy who wrote the national anthem. That's also why we have Justin Timberlake in the Super Bowl this year. Or just doing the halftime show for the first time since he did it with Janet Jackson and showed her boob. And she was singing songs off of her album called Rhythm Nation 1814. And she says the 1814 comes from the year that Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem. So also in regards to the 223, Philadelphia equals 223. Also, just commercial and Jewish gematria equals 231, just like national anthem. You know, I've talked a whole bunch about this. Ariana Grande equals 231. Remember her concert attack and whatnot? Ariana Grande, if you look her up, she studies Kabbalah. Lots of celebrities study Kabbalah, what I'm talking about. It's practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. So I looked up the town Audubon, Iowa. And I noticed that the town was laid out, it says on 923 of the year 1878, right? Remember Audubon equals 78? The town laid out in 1878, famous for Albert the Bull, equals 78 in Gematria. But this 923 is important because that's the day that Donald Trump called out the NFL for, uh, you know, people not standing during the national anthem. And this date was also important to Pope Francis's visit in 2015, where he ended his trip in Philadelphia, where, you know, we had the last blood moon of the Tetrad after he left. Philadelphia is in the book of Revelation. Then this year, we got the first blood moon since then on January 31st. Super Bowl equals 131, a lot like, you know, 1 slash 31. That's Justin Timberlake's birthday as well, you know. Why do you think he's in the halftime show? Lots of stuff going on with this. And Donald Trump's birthday is on June 14th, which is even Flag Day. And it's 101 days before September 23rd. Philadelphia and Gematria equals 101. And also, the flag was supposedly sewn at 239 Arch Street in Philadelphia. And September 23rd can be written as 23 slash 9, a lot like 239 which is the 52nd prime number. Pope Francis's visit came in the 239th year of the United States when Philadelphia turned 333 years old and in Jewish Gematria, Philadelphia Eagles equal 333. Also, the guy that the town is named after is this guy, John James Audubon. And a few things right away stuck out to me just from studying this. He died on January 27th. The word Minneapolis equals 127, and he died at the age of 65. Philadelphia, the small way, equals 65. You know, the 65th prime number is even 313, and Pope Francis became the Pope on 313 of the year 2013. He's the 266th Pope, 923, the 266th day of the year when he visited the White House at 923 in the morning. Came to America on his 923rd day as being the Pope. And, you know, the, the third prime number is, or what is it? Somebody pointed this out to me the other day. The second prime number is three. So two, and then, you know, three, 13 of 13, two, six, six. He's a 266 Pope. Became the Pope on three, 13 of the year 13, you know? all planned out, mapped out by the numbers. It says that his major works, look at this, his major work, a color plate book entitled The Birds of America. What? What's the bird of America? It's the eagle, right? The birds of America is the eagle. This town that I'm talking about, it's going to be featured in a Super Bowl commercial named after a guy who wrote a book called Birds of America. And there's lots of bird symbolism that was going on. That's even why we had the Falcons in the Super Bowl last year, because it was about the black bird, like I said, and Charles Manson's helter-skelter theory, right? And the blacks rising up and whatever else. And 
if you look up U.S. Bank Stadium, they even had an article about how it was known for bird killing. This is the bird killing stadium. Also, this guy's name in Javatria, John James Audubon, equals 88. Fitting for, you know, the Super Bowl, the U.S. Bank Stadium. I don't know if I pointed that out earlier, but U.S. Bank Stadium. Think about it. The stock market crash, U.S. Bank. I discovered a whole bunch of other connections to Herbert Hoover and Donald Trump that I'm going to explain later. You know, even in the movie Home Alone 2, though, go back and watch that movie Home Alone 2 when Kevin goes into the, the Plaza Hotel and he walks past Donald Trump or he asks Donald Trump a question or whatever. And then just five more minutes later in the movie when they're walking him to his hotel room, he says, you know, Herbert Hoover once stayed at this place. And he says, the vacuum guy, you know, because they want you to see that there's a connection between them guys. And there truly is a humongous connection connected to the stock market crash. Home Alone in Gematria equals 88. And we even got the death of the dad on Home Alone, John Hurd, earlier in the year in July or whatever, July of 2017. So also, if you've been following my channel, I've been talking about tons of stuff in regards to Philadelphia and earthquakes and how everything that keeps happening in the media, it was, is stuff I was talking about in 2015. And when I just reading through about this Audubon guy, they even tell us about, they even tell us about, hold on, sorry. Sorry, anyway. So I looked up this guy and it talks about how he was on his trip or whatever. And it mentions the new Madrid earthquake from 1811. And, you know, it was bigger than the San Francisco earthquake estimated at 7.8. You know, just reminds me, right next to the word Audubon. And they even say the new Madrid was possibly 8.8. .8. You know, how interesting. But just in general, how interesting they even mentioned something in regards to earthquakes with this guy or whatever and I've talked a whole lot about bridge symbolism in the number 81 with Minneapolis San Francisco has the Golden Gate Bridge the Golden Gate is where the Jews believe the Messiah will return and in Jewish Gematria Golden Gate even equals 239 the 52nd prime you know all that stuff connected to the flag and Golden Gate equals 81 in reverse and the frontwards way 81, it will be 81 years old this year. The Minnesota bridge collapse in 2007 happened on August 1st, 8-1, supposedly fell at 81 feet. You know, Pittsburgh Steelers equal 81, and Pittsburgh is the city of bridges. Lots of other stuff going on with it. So I just find it interesting that they would even mention that. So where it gets really interesting to me in regards to the connections to my own life is that Last year on February 11th, I mean, I documented all of this stuff with my uncle dying and how he died absolutely by the numbers, super connected. He even gave me this Miami Dolphins jersey, Dan Marino jersey, that was showing me all kinds of stuff with the Miami Dolphins. You know, I even mentioned like Jay Ajayi here or whatever, who got traded to Philadelphia this year, like their star running back or whatever. But my uncle gave me this jersey. And there was a bunch of stuff that connected to the Knights of Columbus and the date of October 12th, which is the day that Christopher Columbus discovered America. And it was pointing to the Simpsons. And I looked up the Simpsons episode, season 10, episode 12. And it just so happened to air the same day that the Falcons lost in Super Bowl 33 to the Denver Broncos. And that same day was also the first ever family guy being aired. And it starts off with a joke about the Brady Bunch, right? And then Tom Brady, the Brady Bunch, wins the Super Bowl over the Falcons. And my uncle even got in a strange car wreck. He got off Highway 175 or whatever the highway is. He Just before getting on Highway 175 and his name equaled 175. And he died at like 175 days after his birthday or something like that. I can't remember it all. But... My, oh, you know, he got in this car wreck and he was going five miles in the wrong direction for no reason whatsoever. They said he didn't have a stroke or anything else. It really makes absolutely no sense why he would get off this highway on his way home from Minnesota. 
of all places, right? He was at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. And he's coming home and he goes five miles off the road and wrecks his truck. And they find him and then he dies at the hospital the next day. And it was super synced up to the Jesuits and the Catholic Church. But he died just before the town of Odebolt, Iowa, where the high school mascot is the Falcons, right? The Odebolt, Falc Arthur, Ida Grove, whatever it is, Falcons. And then the Falcons ended up being in the Super Bowl. And I was over at my grandma's house one, after the Super Bowl. And my sister mentioned something about how she lived on Falcon Avenue. And I thought, whoa, that's crazy. My sister lives on Falcon Avenue. Just after that, I'm talking about all these connections to the Super Bowl and whatnot. My grandma also died in 2017 on September 24th. And my sister's name in Satanic Jabatri even equals 924. But moral of the story, I documented about my sister living on Falcon Avenue that was connected to the Super Bowl last year. And I talked about how my Uncle Clancy what came over or whatever. And I just documented that Grandma Murphy equals 159. Clancy Murphy equals 159. Let me find that post here. Uh, maybe I didn't pull it up. Yeah, this is the old post here. February 11th, 2017. I documented all of this that he had these connections to my grandma and his son. I talked about his son earlier in a post just before the Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale airport shooting. And I talked about how he lives really close to Fort Lauderdale or Pembroke Pines or whatever it was. Talked about him. And then the very next day we got the Fort Lauderdale airport shooting. You know, what are the odds of that? And no lie, this he's the only Philadelphia Eagles fan I've ever met in my entire life. I don't, I know nobody else who likes the Philadelphia Eagles except for him. You know, my Uncle Clancy, his son. And it's strange because my uncle died last year before the Super Bowl. And my Uncle Clancy, I went over to his house on Christmas Eve and he seemed okay. But then shortly after that, he was having problems breathing or whatever. And he went to the hospital. They said he didn't have cancer or anything. And they couldn't, they don't know. He, he worked at a place where he breathed in a lot of chemicals and whatever. So they thought he was going to have to be on oxygen pretty much for the rest of his life or whatever. And he was seemingly getting better and he went to work even. And then out of nowhere, he like something was wrong and his lung had actually collapsed and he barely made it to the hospital. They said that he probably should have had a heart attack and died because his oxygen level was so low and he got life lighted to Sioux City, Iowa. And I, I think he's getting better. I think they reinflated his lung and whatever else. But it's just odd that another one of my uncles is out of nowhere sick just before the Super Bowl. And I even talked about how the connections to my grandma, who just died as well, you know. And his other, his other brother is, he lives around here still, and I still hang out with him. And last year, I was talking about my uncle Barney being super connected to the Flintstones. His name was Barney, his wife's name was Betty, and you know, a ton of stuff. And then I found out that my grandma was originally from Flintstone, Georgia, after she died. I always thought she was from Chattanooga, Tennessee, but she was from just outside of there in a town called Flintstone, Georgia. And Clancy's other son, Timmy, when I was Jesus for Halloween years ago, I went to the bar with him and he dressed as Fred Flintstone and, you know, a bunch of stuff. I talked about his huge connection to Saturn because his full name equals 93 and he died in a, he didn't die, but my best friend's brother, our friend, he died in the car wreck that Timmy was involved in and Timmy was the one who ran for help and all that. And they died. Oh, sorry, but he died on 511. Saturn equals 511, and he died in a car called a Saturn, you know? Like, what are the fucking odds of that? Anyway, let's move on. So what I, what I noticed was that Uncle Clancy equals 41 in Gematria, just like Super Bowl. And, you know, this number 159, Cl Grandma Murphy, Clancy, Clancy Murphy, it's the big number that's connected to Donald Trump and Herbert Hoover and the stock market crash. 
Donald Trump equals 159. Herbert Hoover equals 159. Francis Key equals 159. And all them connections to the number 78, if you write out 78, it equals 159. Just like Audubon, just like Albert the Bull. I never did see if 159 was a prime number. It's not a prime number. But... Also, I guess, you know what, so there's all these 159 connections. We'll skip down here to what I was talking about with the stock market stuff. Because yesterday we also got the, the story of the Dow falling 666 points and whatnot. I don't know if I put it in here. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, Dow plunges 666 points. Worst day since Brexit, whatever. But in regards to the stock market crash, Herbert Hoover, if you look him up, he's 71 years older than Donald Trump. And Herbert Hoover died 71 days after his birthday. And Donald Trump is currently 71 years old. And Albert the Bull, when you read the news articles, it talks about he always next to Highway 71. And it was dedicated on 1021, which is the day that leaves 71 days in the year. And then he's going to be on a Cenex commercial. Cenex commercial equals 71. Also, Audubon, Iowa, in reverse equals 171, which is similar to 17 and 71. It also equals 45, and if you write out 71, it equals 45 frontwards and backwards. Trump's the 45th president. Mike Pence equals 45 frontwards and backwards. The word Catholic equals 35 and 71. Donald Trump went to a Jesuit university. No, Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope. They're called the Society of Jesus. Society of Jesus equals 187 in Gematria. And Donald Trump's birthday and Pope Francis's birthday are 187 days apart. If you remember, Donald Trump's National Convention began on July 18th, which in most parts of the world is 18 slash 7. And then he became the president 187 days later. You know, lots of connections to Donald Trump. JFK, even the 35th president, you know, the only Catholic one, got assassinated. He's the last president to be assassinated. So interesting. Stock market in Gematria equals 71. That's why it's so important to all of these 71s that I'm talking about as well. Also, stock market equals 161 in reverse, just like Super Bowl LII. And I noticed it equals 521 in Satanic Gematria, which is, in a video a while back, I didn't put all the connections together. I was talking about all the 98 with Tom Brady and the Patriots, and it's the 98th season of the NFL. Tom Brady equals 98, Patriots equal 98, and so on. Michigan Wolverines equal 98, where Tom Brady played high school or whatever, or played in college, 98. Tons of other stuff, Brady Bunch, 98. Snickers equal 98. Remember the Snickers Brady Bunch commercial on Super Bowl 49? But moving on. So if you write out, or 521 is the 98th prime number, which is interesting. And if you write out 98 in Satanic Gematria, it equals 521. But Philadelphia also equals 521. And now I'm seeing stock market equals 521. And all season, I've been talking about how the Super Bowl is connected to the stock market crash in U.S. Bank Stadium. And now we have Philadelphia in the Super Bowl that has, you know, the same gematria as stock market. Also, you know, stock market crash equals 185 in gematria. Donald John Trump equals 185 in gematria. And... Super Bowl 52 is 103 days after the anniversary of Black Thursday that the World Series began on this year. And stock market crash in reverse reduced equals 103. And the anniversary of the actual stock market crash on 1029, right? It's 98 days before the Super Bowl this year. The 98th you know, season of the NFL. Even Vikings equal 98, you know, the team hosting the Super Bowl. So, you know, lots of connections to the stock market, Herbert Hoover, Donald Trump, the, the not standing during the national anthem. If you understand what I'm talking about and you practice this for yourself 
and you know just apply this to see what I'm talking about you're gonna be amazed you know you'll see all these connections in your own life and every single day these news stories are coded by the numbers they put parentheses around certain phrases that equal the same thing as the the person in the story and the age of the person in the story So also I noticed that world's largest bull equals 239 in Gematria, the 52nd prime and whatever else. Should have mentioned that earlier, but I just forgot about it. And these posts are always so jumbled up. I also just was thinking Albert the bull equals 48 as well, the small way in Gematria, just like Iowa. You know, Herbert Hoover, the first president from Iowa. Donald Trump equals 48. Wall equals 48. Herbert Hoover equals 78, just like Albert the Bull as well. So they got these interrelated connections even to Albert the Bull. The word football equals 29. Iowa's the 29th state. Stock market crashing up. I'm on the 29th of October. 1029. The 10th prime number is even 29. That's why Iowa, Iowa has Interstate 29 that goes all the way through it from Minnesota to Missouri. Interstate 29. Kinnick Stadium. Where the Hawkeyes play was built in the year 29. Tons of examples of 29 and the connections to Iowa. Herbert Hoover and Satanic Gematria even equals 614. You know, Donald Trump's birthday is 614, which is Flag Day. And if you look up Albert the Bull, he was it was built in 1963, but it wasn't dedicated until October 21st, 1964. How interesting, because that is the day after Herbert Hoover died. One day after Herbert Hoover dies, they dedicate the statue of a bull. You know, guarantee there's a connection to that. There's some reason it was one day after Herbert Hoover dies. So in regards to my sister, something that happened today. Remember my, so my Uncle Clancy, is his son, is the only Eagles fan that I know. And my grandma, who lives, or used to live just right across the street from me, or just right across the alley back here, but she lived on Eagle Street, right? So she lived there, and she even died on Eagle Street. What are the odds of that? My grandma dies on Eagle Street. Talk about my Uncle Clancy and his son, the only person I know that's an Eagle fan. My sister today, Came back over and we were up at my mom's house a little bit ago and whatever. I, I was just talking about a bunch of stuff. I try to drop this pieces of information on, on her and people I know, people around me all the time. But you can tell that people aren't fully interested and they just, they're not going to go apply it for themselves. But my sister's one of them people, she's not going to get mad about it. She's just kind of tries to ignore you a little bit, but she listens a little bit and then she's just like, I don't fully grasp it or whatever you know that's what most people do and they don't go apply it for themselves but it's like if you just would just you know apply it you would see what i'm talking about but they most people just aren't going to go do that you know it's if you can count to 26 then you can do this you know by the way you know god equals 26 in gematria and there's 26 letters in the alphabet and so on but Right before I was leaving, I was telling her a whole bunch of stuff, and I talked a whole bunch about Super Bowl 49, because that's just an example that I remember so well in regards to how the Super Bowl was rigged and whatnot. And I looked over, and I noticed that she was wearing a, a pink sweater, and it, I saw the word eagle on it, and I was like, you see, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I was like, Michelle, what are the odds that you're wearing the shirt that has eagle written on it while I'm telling you all about these connections to the eagles and whatever else? and I found out that the business that they own, I always knew it was like some, they go around and pit, scoop up poop at people's farms or something, and then they resell it, or I don't exactly know what they do, but I never knew what the business was called. It's called Eagle Acre Incorporated. Eagle Acres Incorporated. What are the odds of that? And she lives on Falcon Avenue. Their business is even located on 1621 Eagle Avenue. You know, like... Just blew me away. I was like, there is no way, you know, what are the odds that your business and like your town's connected to the Super Bowl? Last year I was talking about the Falcons, and then you're from you're living on Falcon Avenue. 
It's just unbelievable. And, you know, I looked up her company in Gematria, Eagle Acres Incorporated, or Inc., equals 78. Just like Audubon, just like Albert the Bull. Her husband, who is the guy who runs the company pretty much, you know, or him and his parents, his name, I'm pretty sure his middle name's Ryan. I could be wrong, but if his middle name's Ryan, his name in Gematria equals 78. Just like the name of the business. And in regards to the pink sweater, I said, and you know what pink reminds me of, Michelle? I said, in November, I was talking about how I thought pink would possibly be the person singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl because I've been following all of this and following these storylines and seeing how things are interrelated. And then pink got announced a month later that she was going to be singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Also, one other, well, I looked at the notable people in the town Audubon, Iowa, and it only lists four on Wikipedia. And this guy right here, when you look him up, it says that he owned a law firm. And look what it says. One of his, some of their notable clients are an advertising Coca-Cola company and Yahoo and entertainment, Sony Pictures Entertainment and the Eagles. You know, no other bands, but the Eagles, right? And remember Glenn Fry dying in 2016, just after the Eagles of death metal thing in Paris, France or whatever. And then we got the Randy Meisner's wife dying. All kinds of stuff with the Eagles. And it was all synced up to the number 118. And, you know, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania equals 118 in Gematria. So anyway, a few more things that I want to point out. Just some other odd things. I know this video is long, but, you know, all my videos end up being that way. And I don't have time to make another video. Most likely, I'm going to be gone most of the night tonight. And I got to work until four tomorrow, so I can't even make a video tomorrow or even most likely won't even be able to document anything because I'll be at work. But in regards to earthquakes and all this other stuff, I've been talking about earthquakes and how there's something synced up to the Super Bowl in regards to what I was talking about 2015 and everything else. I went back and looked up at some of my information about it, and I noticed that in 1960, that was the year of the worst ever recorded earthquake in Valdivia, Chile. And it's super interesting, the number 60, because the last time the Eagles won the NFL championship was in the year 1960. And if I can leave, if I find video links in the description, I'll leave them. But I talked a lot about in 2015, the death of Chuck Bednarik a Hall of Famer for the Philadelphia Eagles and how he knocked out Frank Gifford. And that that's what he was known for, knocking out Frank Gifford. And then they both died in 2015. I'll talk about that in a second. He wore number 60 and he helped them win the 1960 championship. And he was, was the last of the NFL 60 minute men. So he played the whole game. Anyway, in regards to, you know, the worst earthquake ever recorded was in 1960. And, in that year, we got the death of Moses Malone, right? At the age of 60, he's connected to Philadelphia. We got the death of Daryl Dawkins, who equals 60, connected to Philadelphia. And that's their deaths were synced up to Kobe Bryant's 60-point game to finish his career, where he came out with 4.1 seconds left. And Kobe Bryant equals 41 in Gematria, and he announced his retirement 33 days after Philadelphia's 333rd anniversary. Kobe's originally from Philadelphia or whatever. His poem, Dear Basketball, equals 41 even in Gematria. 41. He leaves the game with 4.1 seconds left. His name equals 41. Super Bowl equals 41. Keep that in mind. And Kobe has been super connected to the coding that I've made previous videos on. But we also got the death of Flip Saunders just after that. Flip Saunders died at the age of 60. And he had this huge connection to Kevin Garnett. And Kevin Garnett was out of high school, right? The original Teen Wolf. And Kobe Bryant was out of high school. And Moses Malone was the first player out of high school to play in the ABA. And Daryl Dawkins was the first player out of high school to play in the NBA. So they had all of this connection to high school and whatnot. And I also pointed out Donald Trump equals 60 in Gematria. Abraham Lincoln equals 60 in Gematria. Just think about all the Civil War type coding with Donald Trump, you know, 
tons of division with Donald Trump and then Abraham Lincoln. The super N word also equals 60 in Gematria, you know? That's why in a leap year, the Black History Month even ends on the 60th day of the year, and it normally ends on the 59th day of the year, and slave, negro, cotton picker, jigaboo, you know, blues, rasta, all of them words equal 59, you know, tons of other stuff. This super N word even has a connection to 5 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9, but I'm not going to go into that. So, I don't know, there's just a connection to the number 60 in regards to a lot of these deaths that were in 2015. And, you know, the worst recorded earthquake ever was in the year 1960. And all the stuff with Chuck Bednarik and the Eagles last going to the Super Bowl in 1960. And what, what's interesting about that, or going to the championship game, not the Super Bowl, but what's interesting is the score of that game was 13 to 17. And this was a big number I was talking about with the death of my Uncle Barney last year. There was a whole bunch of stuff in regards to Dan Marino wearing number 13 and Ryan Tannehill wearing number 17. A bunch of stuff I was talking about. I even pointed out that my name in Gematria, my full name, equals 1,317 to Jewish Gematria. So, I don't know. Just interested me when I saw that that was the score of that game as well. But in regards to Frank Gifford being knocked out by Chuck Bednarik, Frank Gifford was knocked out for 666 days. Chuck Bednarik hurt him in a game on November 20th, 1960. And Frank Gifford never came back until September 16th, 1962. 666 days later, you know. And that hit was also four months and one day before Chuck Bednarik's birthday. Remember Super Bowl equals 41. Chuck Bednarik died 41 days before his birthday and 141 days before Frank Gifford. You know, a lot like 41, 14. I believe even if you write out 14 as a word, it equals 41. So they even have a connection to each other. 1960 was the 41st NFL season, right? Super Bowl 41. And 1960 was also 58 years ago, which sticks out to me because 58 and 85 were big numbers that I talked about in regards to earthquakes, east of the Rockies, and everything else. The study of earthquakes goes back to the year 585 BC by a guy named Falls of Miletus, that equals 85 in Gematria. Charles Francis Richter died at age 85 in the year 1985, and Richter scale equals 58, seismograph equals 58. The worst recorded earthquake east of the Rockies since. Oh, yeah, east of the Rockies, like, since recently or whatever, recently, 2011, was the Mineral Virginia one that was a 5.8. The one before that was a 5.8 in Cornwall, Messina, that was in the year 1944, earthquake equals 44. And the one before that was in Charleston, South Carolina, that was 58 years and five days before the Cornwall, Messina one. So, And Pope Francis visited Mexico City this year. 585 days at, before the earthquake in Mexico City. And then the Patriots played in Mexico City, and it was synced up to Marshawn Lynch in Super Bowl 49 and everything else. But Marshawn Lynch stood for the Mexican National Anthem. So definitely something going on there with Mexico. Think about Donald Trump wanting to build the wall. You know, wins the election on the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down. Then they come out with a game show called The Wall and the movie The Great Wall and another movie called The Wall. It's like like they like he wasn't selected, you know, and not pre-planned for years. I also pointed out that Super Bowl LII equals 161, just like American Civil War, which was interesting. That was a huge theme in 2015. Now it connected to all kinds of stuff I was talking about. So, one last thing, I just noticed this earlier. I found out two people that I know died today, and I haven't had time to look into it, nor is the information even online yet. You know, I don't know their birthdays and everything else. So, one of them was my friend who died. I can't even remember when he died. It was a few years back, right around the 4th of July. He had back surgery, and then like a blood clot killed him or something. But it was his dad, and 
I'm friends with his brother still too, sort of, you know, he lives by my mom and dad and whatever, but his name was Bill Hicks, right? Just interesting in regards to the comedian Bill Hicks that lots of conspiracy people talk about and they say Bill Hicks is Alex Jones and whatever else, you know. So I don't know. I want to look into that. Also, my, my dad's uncle, who he doesn't really talk to that much and my dad's dad doesn't really get, a, he never really got along with his brother anyway, but it's just interesting that he would die because the other day when I was at work, his son, who I really don't know that well, they're, they're all like way older than me, but I guess he'd be like my, whatever, my second cousin. He came in and said that we charged him $300 extra because he got a gift card and it messed up. I don't know what it was, but I had to call the manager and it took forever, whatever else. And I ended up giving him $300 only to find out that he actually didn't get charged twice or whatever. So now they got to try to get, they're trying to get a hold of him again to get the money back and whatever else. But it took forever and his dad came in and I had not seen this guy forever. He lives in the town, but I never see him. I've never seen this other, his son, hardly ever. And I randomly seen him like two weeks ago. And now I find out that he dies or whatever, you know, and he just like fell over and broke his rib or something. And they thought, I think my mom said something about, it. they think he got pneumonia. So moral of the story, just interesting. I hadn't seen him forever. I see him and then now he dies a couple of weeks later. And earlier in the year, I blogged a bunch about Minnesota and how I went there to go skiing. And we also watched people jump off of waterfalls in like Mankato, Minnesota. And his son, the reason we went up there was to see his son, uh, Kenny Barrett. So, and I really don't know him that well. I know my dad was pretty good cousins with him or whatever but they haven't seen each other in years. So I don't know, just interesting to me. There's a connection to Minnesota there. And then my friend's dad, Bill Hicks dying. And a week or so ago, we also got the story of the sand pit. that's just up highway 30 here. It's kind of halfway between Woodbine and Dunlap, two small towns. And I guess he like backed this, this dump truck up over like their, you know, they have the sand stuff and they dig and then there's water and it was frozen. And I guess he backed up the truck and it sunk or whatever and he couldn't get out and he drowned. And for whatever reason today, I just randomly thought of the story again and I looked it up. And I noticed that this guy died at the age of 38 and he was from Minnesota, right? Minnesota equals 38, LII equals 38, Super Bowl LII equals 163, the 38th prime. Lot, you know, so interesting, he would die at the age of 38. And he's from Minnesota. And I, so I looked up that town. And this town even talks about, you know, it, it's famous for a historic bridge, the West Bridge. And it's also in 1876, the remaining members of the James Younger Gang were captured near here after their failed attempt at the bank robbery in Northfield, Minnesota. And... Remember that was super connected to the Steelers game when Jesse James, the whole play with Jesse James got overturned, who were, you know, he was number 81 and it was on, wasn't it on Pope Francis's 81st birthday, 81 days after the Jesuit anniversary, all of the eight ones in connection to the bridge symbolism, right? And how it's connected to Minnesota. And then Jesse James, I don't even, I'll leave a link to that video in the description, all kinds of stuff. So just interesting. It has a connection to this town or whatever. And, it, you know, it's even connected to bank robberies. And then we got U.S. Bank Stadium. And I also, in my video, or maybe I didn't mention the video, but on my blog, I know I mentioned something about the area of Northfield, Minnesota, it said was originally inhabited by people from New England or whatever. So now we have New England in the Super Bowl. There's tons of bridge symbolism. And that game was against the city of bridges. So anyway, I looked up this guy who died, Christopher McMullen. I looked up his obituary and, you know, you can find his obituary. Some of them, some of these mainstream media articles, whenever someone dies, you try to find their obituary. You cannot find it for the life of you. So, you know, I found this guy is just a week after he died. So, you know, that he most likely died. It's not fake, you know, so there's a lot of, a lot of, Mainstream media stories, you try to look up a person and you can't find their obituary at all. And then it makes you wonder if they even were a real person or not, you know. 
But this guy, he died age 38, and I noticed he died 41 days after his birthday, like Super Bowl. And his real name is Christopher William McMullen. That equals 131 in Gematria, like Super Bowl. You know, and he dies. It's just crazy. And he's from Minnesota. I didn't even look much more into that story after I saw that it was connected to the Super Bowl. He's from Minnesota. Dies age 38. It's weird. It's absolutely weird, you know. There is some code that exists. And there's just so many things going on with it. But the video's long enough. It's already later than I wanted it to be, so... You know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm sure the game will be absolutely scripted like all the other games. That's that's what's so much fun about watching the games anymore. If you watch them and you laugh at how scripted it is and laugh at what the announcers say. So, hopefully, that, hopefully this video makes sense. Have a good one. Peace.